What's going on everyone? You're watching this video because you are thinking of moving to Charlotte, North Carolina, right? Well, before you do that, let me tell you many things I love about Charlotte, North Carolina and the things that I don't like about Charlotte. And that's the topic of my video today, the pros and cons of living in Charlotte, North Carolina. But before I proceed, let me introduce you to my assistant, Kobe. Hey, say hello to everyone. Yeah, I normally don't um, put him on my video, but he came up here and he said hello to everyone. Hey, Kobe, let me ask you something. Do you like living here in Charlotte? Say yes. <laughs> well, anyway, um, my video is coming right up, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm back. My name is Lynn Alvarez, a Charlotte Realtor with the LA Group of EXP Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, I will be talking about the pros and cons of living here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So stay tuned. And once again, I want to introduce my dog to you. Hi, this is Kobe Ahabapu. So stay tuned and we'll be talking about what it's like to live here in Charlotte. Um, the real estate and the neighborhoods. So stay tuned. Just to give you a backstory, my husband, who is now my real estate partner, and I and our daughter moved from Los Angeles, California to Charlotte, North Carolina many years ago. And it was very hard our family to move, but now we love and enjoy living here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And for comparison purposes, I'm gonna use Los Angeles, California. In this video, I will be talking about what I love about living in Charlotte, North Carolina and what I don't love about this city. And my topic today is very exciting because we get a lot of questions from residents of California and other states asking if they should move to the South. And that is why I'll be talking about the pros and cons of living in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'll be happy to share with you the seven things I love about living in Charlotte and the five things I don't love about living in Charlotte. So stay tuned. If you want to know the pros and cons of living in Charlotte, North Carolina, real estate in Charlotte, neighborhoods in Charlotte, and tips and tricks for home sellers and home buyers, please subscribe to our channel below. And also, if you don't want to miss any of them, please make sure to click that bell button so that you'll be notified every time we have a new video. Okay, so let's talk about what I love about living in North Carolina, especially here in Charlotte. So here are the pros. We have four seasons here, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Winter here is not so harsh with occasional snow that most of the time doesn't stick. The need to shovel snow is not common. Spring is my favorite season here with cool 60 degree weather, blooming trees and flowering gardens. It can get hot and humid here in the summer, but we do get some rain on and off throughout the season. Fall brings pleasant temperatures and colorful foliage. The falling leaves rustling through the woods are spectacular. Cost of living in Charlotte is absolutely lower than in Los Angeles, New York City, and other major cities in the U.S. The cost of living in L.A. is 51% higher than in Charlotte. An average two-bedroom apartment in Charlotte rents for $1,520 per month compared to $2,285 in L.A. If you make $75,000 in Charlotte, you need to make $115,000 in LA to maintain your standard of living. Depends on what state you are coming from, property taxes, sales tax, insurance, gas, utilities are a lot cheaper in Greater Charlotte. At the time of this video, gas in Costco Los Angeles is $2.80 per gallon, whereas gas at Costco Charlotte is $1.83 per gallon. Same thing when you go to BJ's Wholesale Club. We are members and when I use their credit card or buy promotional items, they reduce by 10 to 20 cents. 
Actually, today I gas up for $1.73 per gallon. If you're coming from the deep south, it might be a little less there, but overall, the cost of living here is lower than in some parts of the country. One of the best parts of the Charlotte community is the passionate sports fans. If you're into live sporting events, Charlotte teams include the Carolina Panthers for football, Charlotte Hornets for basketball, Charlotte Checkers for hockey, and Charlotte Knights for minor league baseball. The Charlotte Motor Speedway is a major attraction for motorsport lovers. You need to visit the NASCAR Museum in Uptown Charlotte. There is a planned major league soccer team that is expected to begin playing in 2022 called Charlotte Football Club. Watch out, Major League Soccer fans! If you're an outdoor person, the first place you'll want to visit is the U.S. National Whitewater Center, which is the world's premier outdoor facility featuring whitewater rafting, biking, zip lines, live music, craft brews, and more. Visit Carowinds for a heart-pumping thrill ride amusement park. Enjoy Lake Norman, Mountain Island Lake, or Lake Wally for water activities such as boating, kayaking, jet skiing, and fishing. The NASCAR Hall of Fame in Uptown Charlotte is a great place to visit if you are into car racing. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is a mere two hours from the city with plenty of access to rivers and trails even closer. If you are into arts, theater, Broadway shows, music concerts, and jazz festival, there are so many venues in Uptown Charlotte. Oh, one thing before I proceed, please make sure to watch until the end of this video because I'm going to give you free downloads. It's a relocation guide and buyer guide. Real estate in Charlotte is more affordable than in other major cities like Los Angeles or New York City. You get more value for your money. For example, this house listed for sale in LA with four bedrooms, three baths, over 3,000 square feet is listed at $2,100,000. Whereas in Charlotte, a house with four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2819 square feet is listed at $300,000. You can actually buy seven houses here with a Los Angeles price tag. How crazy is that? Oh well, of course, we are not in Hollywood with all the glitz and glamour, but we are happy here in our city. Charlotte real estate is booming. The average sales price in Charlotte is $362,000, while the median price is around the $300,000 mark. It depends on where you are looking. You can find homes up to $7 million with an amazing water view of the lake. Charlotte serves as the headquarter city for six Fortune 500 companies. Honeywell, a Fortune 100 company, moved its global corporate headquarters to Uptown Charlotte, home to Bank of America's corporate headquarters and the home of East Coast operations for Wells Fargo. Charlotte is the second biggest banking hub in the U.S and the largest in the southeast. Charlotte is an ideal place to do business because of its mild weather and convenient midway location along the east coast. From 2014 to 2016, Charlotte boasted 18% job growth in the tech sector, making it the fastest growing market in the nation. And that trend doesn't seem to be slowing down. Forbes magazine ranked Charlotte number two on their list the cities creating the most tech jobs in 2017. We have no hurricanes here in Charlotte. Although the coastal Carolinas are among the areas hardest hit by hurricanes and tropical storm, we rarely uh, feel any significant impact on any landfall. We are just too far inland. Now let's get to the cons, except I can't think of anything except the following. Weather is one of the pros, but it's also a con for me. 
The weather in Charlotte is not like Southern California weather because Charlotte and North Carolina as a whole have a subtropical climate during the summer, especially in the month of August. Yes, summers are hot and humid, but temperatures rarely top 98 degrees and rainfall is very common in these months. It was reported that there are at least 100 people moving to Charlotte every day. Due to the increase of population, there can be a lot of traffic congestion in some areas during rush hours. If you live in a suburb of Charlotte, make sure you leave early to avoid traffic on the freeway. We're not close to the beach. Oh yeah, we have no beaches here, only lakes. But there are several if you go to the Carolina coastal region such as Wilmington, Oak Island, Carolina Beach, Emerald Isle, and the Outer Banks. If you really want to enjoy the beach, amenities, fun activities, and entertainment, I recommend going to Muriel Beach, South Carolina. It's about a three and a half hour drive, but it's worth it. Oh, I love springtime, but this is the season allergy sufferers dread in Charlotte and North Carolina in general. As you know, North Carolina has an abundance of trees. Most of the pollen that cause allergic reaction come from trees, weeds, and grasses. For several weeks in spring, cars, streets, and houses can be covered with a layer of yellow pollen. So, be prepared for allergy season. North Carolina has a diverse ecosystem and is divided into three regions. Mountains, the Piedmont, and Coastal Plain. Charlotte is in the Piedmont, aka foothills, so the soil contains copious amounts of red clay that sometimes is tough on crops. It presents a challenge for landscapers and gardeners as well. But with just a few amendments, plants can grow healthy and long-lasting. If you love gardening, just make sure to put mulch on top of the clay to retain moisture in the soil. Keep the soil cool and to make the garden bed attractive. In California, where we used to live, the soil is black so it's very easy to grow plants. If you enjoyed watching this video and learned something about the pros and cons of living in Charlotte, North Carolina, please make a comment below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell button so that you're not gonna miss any of our new videos. Do you have any opinion about living here in Charlotte? Or is there something that I did not address? Please make a comment below or you can contact me anytime. I'll be making new videos about living in Charlotte, real estate in Charlotte, neighborhoods in Charlotte, and you don't wanna miss them, so please subscribe below. Are you thinking about moving to Charlotte? Do you have any questions about the quality of life in Charlotte or living in Charlotte or considering a move to Charlotte? You can call or text me at 704-975-2429 or you can email me at lynn at lynnalvarez.com. Thank you for watching. And once again, my name is Lynn Alvarez, a Charlotte Realtor with the Ally Group of PXV Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. Bye for now and I hope to see you soon. And Kobe wants to say bye for now and we'll see you soon. Say bye, Kobe. Before you go, make sure to check the description below and get your free buyer guide. Things to consider when buying a home and the relocation guide.